In the previous three sessions, we had seen some application of bootstrap in R. We had taken a small data set, we had defined a statistic and then we had used the bootstrap technique to find the standard error of the statistic and the confidence interval of the statistic. In today's session, we would be dealing with a slightly more complex example. We would be dealing how to apply bootstrap in context to analysis of variance problem. Now, analysis of variance problem assumes that the data comes from a normal distribution with the variance being homogeneous. Now, if that is not the case, then analysis of variance becomes a bit problematic. So, we shall be using bootstrap in such a data where the data is not the normality assumption of the data is not valid and shall see what are the results. Bootstrapping a one way ANOVA. This material is based on the tutorial of W. B. King with the website given below. So, here the idea is that we would be applying bootstrap in context to one way ANOVA. The one way ANOVA assumes that the data comes from a normal distribution and it also assumes homogeneity of variance. Now, homogeneity of variance means that I mean if the homogeneity of the variance is not there, then we cannot apply the theoretical F distribution. So, now the question is how can we get a sampling distribution that does apply. Now, for this data we would be using the insect spray data set. The insect spray data set is a data about the number of insects under different types of spray. So, to know more about the data set, you can use question mark in insect sprays in R to know more about the data set. So, we would start by inspecting the mean and the variances. Now, the command with insect spray that means with the data set t apply count spray mean that means with the data set insect spray we are applying the mean function of count grouped by spray and we get that for spray A the mean is 14.5, for spray B the mean is 15.33, for spray C the mean is 2.08 so on and for all the 6 sprays we have the 6 means here. Then with insect spray comma t apply count spray variance. So, it is exactly the same command, but now we are calculating what is the variance of the counts for each spray and we find that the variances are pretty dispersed. For example, variance of f is 38.6, variance of a is 22.2, while variance of e is 3 and variance of c is 3.9. And if we change this variance to length that is with insect spray t apply count spray length, we get the value 12, 12, 12 for each of the group. That means, we have 12 observations for each spray type. Now, if we run an analysis of variance using the command AOV that is AOV count explained by spray data equal to insect spray and take a summary of it we get the f value to be 34.702 and it comes out to be significant. So, the effect of spray comes out to be significant, but the question is that here we have issues about the homogeneity of variance. In fact, if you see the AOV examples in the help page of this data, they have used a square root transformation to perform the analysis of variance. So, to improve on our analysis of variance, let us first assume that the pool variance of 15.38 which comes from the analysis of variance of the entire data is applicable to all groups and let us see what is the f distribution that we get. Now, to do that what we are using so, we start with the quantity mean star. Now, mean star is mean of insect spray dollar count that means 
mean star is mean of the counts that we get ignoring the sprays. So, that means it is the mean of all values and the standard deviation is square root of 15.38. Now, what do we do? For each of the group that is group A to group F, we take a random sample of size 12 because for each of the observed groups we have 12 observations from a normal distribution. Mean having the overall mean and SD is the pooled SD which is square root of 15.38 and we do this 10,000 times. So, here we replicate this analysis 10,000 times. So, we set R is equal to 10,000 and for i in 1 to r, we perform the calculation that is we obtain 12 observations from our normal distribution, 12 random observations from a normal distribution with mean is equal to mean star and S d equal to S d star, where mean star is the grouped mean or the pooled mean and S d star is the pooled standard deviation and then we perform a ANOVA one way test of it. So, one way test is nothing but the F test and the moment we perform the F test, we extract the statistic value. So, we say one way dot test is sim count dollar sim spray where sim count and sim spray are the total data kept in a data frame called sim data variance of equal equal to true dollar statistic that means we are storing the statistic and we have defined quantity f star is numeric r. So, that is numeric null vector that we have created and the ith element is the statistic value for the ith data set the f statistic value for the ith data set. So, now f star has 10,000 f statistic value. Now, this is a parametric bootstrap. Why is this a parametric bootstrap? Because we are drawing the values from our, the normal distribution with mean under the null hypothesis. So, the null hypothesis of ANOVA says that there is no mean difference and so there is no mean difference means all the means is equal to a same and that same value is taken to be the pooled mean or the total group mean. So, we perform this parametric bootstrap. And then, if we do hist of f star probability equal to true, we get the histogram of f star and now the histogram looks a little bit like a f distribution. So, we can have points on it. So, we can take a sequence, we can start from 0.25 to and with an increment of 0.5 and then we can draw the points x, y is d f x. So, and if you see the f distribution here should follow degrees of freedom 5 and 66. So, d f x 5 and 66 and so the moment we do this we have now plotted the f 566 distribution superimposed on our histogram and it shows that the fit is more or less ok. Now, how to improve on this? Now, to improve on this we would use the insect spray data to get the f star distribution. In what way? We will center all groups of the same mean on the same mean that is we would center all groups on 0 mean, but we will leave the variance and the shape of the individual group distributions undisturbed. Now, to do this what we need to do is first find the means for each group. So, with insect spray t apply count spray mean and store it in mean star and then we calculate each value in the group such that each value is subtracted from its own group mean. Now, if we do something like this then each group has 0 mean and then we start to implement the non-parametric bootstrap. So, the previous case we had implemented a parametric bootstrap where we had specified the distribution. This time we are implementing the non-parametric bootstrap. So, how are we implementing the non-parametric bootstrap? We have defined quantities group GRP A to GRP F and these are nothing but the values of the group subtracted from the group mean. So, we would take samples of that 
of size 12 with replacement and this we would do 10,000 times. So, that would create 10,000 data sets. On those 10,000 data sets, we would once again run the F test and take the statistic. So, the following code is given here. So, group A is sample GRP A size equal to 12 replace equal to T and then we are doing this for all the 6 groups and this is repeated in a loop. So, that is why we have for i in 1 to r. Then we create a small data set which is sim data, data dot frame, sim count, sim spray and we use the same command as we had used previously and extract the statistic and store it in f star. And now we perform the same thing. So, we have a histogram of the f star that we obtained and over it we superimpose a f 566 curve and we see that it is a bit different from the theoretical distribution and it seems that the tails are a bit heavier. Now, the critical value of f 566 at alpha equal to 0 0.05 is 2.35 which is a bit different from our bootstrapped f star distribution and to find that value we can use quantile f star 90.95, but both the values are less than f observed which is 34.7. So, that means the null here is to be rejected. So, in today's session we have seen how we can use bootstrap in context to uh, analysis of variance problem when the assumptions of normality and homogeneity of variance are is not met. Because what happens is if the assumptions are not met then the test statistic really does not follow the f distribution. And we can find out what is the distribution using the bootstrap technique. In our next class we would go one step forward and see how we can apply bootstrap in context to linear models. Now, there are multiple ways in which we can apply bootstrap in context to linear models. So, we shall learn about all those ways and then use R or specifically the boot pack.